Hello, and welcome to this lecture on the geometry of Stoic relations. In this lecture, we will explore how the ancient philosophy of Stoicism can help us improve our relationships with others and ourselves. We will learn how to apply the Stoic principles of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance to our interactions, and how to cultivate a rational and virtuous mindset that enables us to be the controlling party in any situation. We will also examine some of the insights and examples of the Stoic philosophers, such as Zeno, Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, who have inspired generations of people with their teachings and writings. Stoicism is a school of Hellenistic philosophy that flourished in ancient Greece and Rome. The Stoics believed that the practice of virtue is enough to achieve eudaimonia, a well-lived life. The Stoics identified the path to achieving it with a life spent, practicing the four virtues in everyday life, wisdom, courage, temperance or moderation, and justice, and living in accordance with nature. The Stoics also held that certain destructive emotions resulted from errors of judgment, and they believed people should aim to maintain a will called proheresis, that is, in accordance with nature. Because of this, the Stoics thought the best indication of an individual's philosophy was not what a person said, but how a person behaved. One of the main goals of Stoicism is to achieve inner peace and tranquility, regardless of the external circumstances. The Stoics taught that we should focus on the things we can control, such as our character, thoughts, emotions and actions, while accepting the things we cannot, such as the actions of others or the natural course of events going on in the world around us. By doing so, we can avoid being disturbed by things that are not up to us, and we can act in harmony with our rational nature and the universal reason that governs everything. This attitude of focusing on what is in our power and letting go of what is not is the key to being the controlling party in any relationship. By relationship, we mean any kind of interaction or connection we have with another person, whether it is a family member, a friend, a colleague, a partner, or a stranger. In every relationship, there are two aspects, what depends on us and what depends on the other person. The Stoics taught that we should always take responsibility for our part and not worry about the other person's part. We should act with wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance and not expect anything in return. We should respect the other person's freedom and dignity and not try to manipulate, coerce, or dominate them. We should also be ready to face any challenge or difficulty that may arise in the relationship and not let it affect our inner peace and happiness. Let us now see how we can apply the four Stoic virtues to our relationships and how they can help us be the controlling party in any situation. Wisdom is the ability to judge rightly, to discern what is true, good, and beneficial, and to act accordingly. Wisdom is the most important virtue, as it guides the other virtues and helps us make the best decisions in any circumstance. In our relationships, Wisdom means that we should always seek to understand the other person, their motives, their feelings, their needs, and their perspective. We should not judge them harshly or assume that we know better than them. We should also be aware of our own biases, prejudices, and emotions, and not let them cloud our judgment. We should be open-minded, curious, and willing to learn from the other person, as well as from our own experience. We should also be humble and admit our mistakes and limitations and seek to improve ourselves. Courage is the ability to face fear, pain, danger, or adversity with confidence and determination. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the mastery of it. Courage is also the willingness to do what is right, even if it is difficult, unpopular, or risky. In our relationships, courage means that we should not be afraid to express our true self our opinions, our feelings, and our needs. We should not be afraid to stand up for what we believe in or to defend ourselves or others from injustice or harm. We should also not be afraid to take risks, to try new things, to challenge ourselves, or to change. We should also be prepared to face the consequences of our actions and to accept criticism, feedback, or rejection with grace and dignity. Temperance is the ability to control and moderate our desires, impulses, and emotions. Temperance is also the balance and harmony between the different parts of our soul, the rational, the spirited, and the appetitive. 
Temperance is the virtue that prevents us from being enslaved by our passions and allows us to enjoy the pleasures of life in a healthy and reasonable way. In our relationships, temperance means that we should not be driven by lust, greed, envy, anger, or any other negative emotion that may harm ourselves or the other person. We should also not be addicted to or dependent on the other person or expect them to fulfill all our needs and desires. We should also respect the boundaries and limits of the other person and not impose our will or demands on them. We should also be content with what we have and not crave for more or compare ourselves with others. Justice is the ability to treat everyone fairly, equally, and impartially, according to their merits and rights. Justice is also the respect and care for the common good, the welfare of the society, and the natural order. Justice is the virtue that ensures that we act in harmony with our fellow human beings and with the universal reason that governs everything. In our relationships, justice means that we should always act with honesty, integrity, and loyalty. We should not lie, cheat, steal, or betray the other person or ourselves. We should also not harm, hurt, or abuse the other person or ourselves. We should also be generous, kind, and compassionate and help the other person when they need it without expecting anything in return. We should also be grateful and appreciate the other person for who they are and what they do for us. We should also be respectful and honor the dignity and worth of the other person and ourselves. These are the four stoic virtues that can help us be the controlling party in any relationship. By practicing them, we can improve our relationships with others and ourselves and achieve a well-lived life. We can also become more like the stoic philosophers who exemplified these virtues in their lives and writings. Let us now look at some of the insights and examples of the Stoic philosophers and how they can inspire us to apply the Stoic principles to our relationships. Zeno of Sidium was the founder of Stoicism and the teacher of the first generation of Stoics. He was born in Cyprus and came to Athens after a shipwreck that destroyed his cargo of purple dye. He was attracted by the teachings of the Cynics, who advocated a simple and natural life free from social conventions and attachments. He later developed his own philosophy based on the idea of living in accordance with nature and reason. He taught his philosophy in the Stoa Poikili, or the Painted Porch, a public place where he attracted many followers and admirers. Zeno was known for his modesty, his self-control, and his generosity. He lived a simple and frugal life and gave away most of his wealth to his friends and students. He was also tolerant and respectful of others and avoided conflicts and arguments. He was also courageous and resilient and faced his death with calmness and dignity. He died at the age of 72 after tripping and breaking his toe. He said, I come, O Zeus, I come. Why do you call me? And then suffocated himself with his cloak. Zeno can teach us how to live in harmony with nature and reason and how to practice the stoic virtues in our relationships. He can also teach us how to be content with what we have and how to detach ourselves from external things that are not in our power. He can also teach us how to be humble, generous, and respectful, and how to avoid unnecessary troubles and disputes. He can also teach us how to face adversity and death with courage and serenity. Seneca was one of the most influential Stoic philosophers and the tutor and advisor of the Roman Emperor Nero. He was born in Cordoba, Spain, and came to Rome at a young age. He was a prolific writer and wrote many essays, letters, and tragedies on various topics, such as ethics, politics, psychology, and literature. He was also a wealthy and powerful man and held several important positions in the imperial court. However, he also faced many difficulties and dangers, such as exile, illness, and conspiracy. He was eventually forced to commit suicide by Nero, who accused him of being involved in a plot against him. He died at the age of 69, after cutting his veins and taking poison. Seneca was known for his eloquence, his wisdom, and his pragmatism. He wrote many practical and inspiring advice on how to live a good and meaningful life and how to deal with the challenges and adversities that we may encounter. He taught us how to cultivate inner peace and tranquility and how to overcome destructive emotions and desires. He also taught us how to cultivate virtues, such as courage, 
temperance, and justice, and how to live in accordance with nature and reason. Seneca can teach us how to apply the Stoic principles to our relationships and how to be the controlling party in any situation. He can also teach us how to be resilient and adaptable and how to find meaning and purpose in our lives, even in the face of suffering and death. He can also teach us how to be mindful and present and how to appreciate the beauty and wonder of the world around us. Marcus Aurelius can teach us how to apply the Stoic principles to our relationships and how to be the controlling party in any situation. He can also teach us how to be virtuous and honorable and how to live with integrity and dignity. He can also teach us how to be compassionate and empathetic and how to care for the well-being of others. He can also teach us how to be humble and self-aware and how to recognize our own flaws and imperfections. In conclusion, the philosophy of Stoicism offers us valuable insights and practical advice on how to improve our relationships with others and ourselves. By cultivating the four Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, we can become the controlling party in any situation and live a well-lived life. Let us strive to emulate the example of the Stoic philosophers and apply their teachings to our own lives. If you found this lecture insightful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and share it with others. Together, let's spread the wisdom of Stoicism and help others lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.